by the end of this video you should be a canva pro because everything you're going to be doing would be within shapes you know we are just going to be using shapes to create a photorealistic product design okay and we'll be using perfume if you're on the free version of canva and you want to try canva for free i have a special link in the description box that can help you you know upgrade to canva pro for free the name is benjamin and without any further ado let's dive straight into canva and let's get started so come to create okay and here there are so many dimensions you can choose, you know, from the various doc types available in Canva. But just ensure you are on social media, which should give you all of these most popular dimensions. Okay. Then select Instagram post four by five. Okay. Which is 1080 by 1350. Selecting that will bring you here. Okay. And this is the edit. So what we're simply going to do, first of all, is click on background color and just come to color. You can set this to any color of your choice. I will just come, you know, somewhere here and just play with the colors available. So this is what we have at the moment. And I'm just going to switch it to gradient. Okay. And in gradient, I want the same color. So I will just choose the color picker and pick the same color and make this lighter. Okay. So once I make it lighter, I'll just choose a circular gradient and that's what we have, but we rather want it the other way around. So we just swap the colors. Okay. So this is what we have at the moment. And I do not seem to like how, you know, the kind of orange you have. So let's, okay. This is what I'm looking for. So the color code I'm using is DC5600. I don't know if it's OO or yeah, but it's, I'm sure it's 00. I will just also move this a little bit and the color code is ff9f21 that is what we are using all right so now we're just going to press c on our keyboard to add the shape a beautiful simple shape okay all you're simply going to do is to you know come to color and change the color so this is the color i want to to use okay and the color code is FFFC53. Okay. Now I don't want just a normal circle. So I'll come to edit and I'll change this to the pale shape. Okay. So this is what I'm looking for. So come to flow chart shapes and just scroll through. You should see this particular one. Okay. So we'll just rotate it to something like this and we'll take off the rounded corners because we are not here to make things look fancy. Okay. So place it in the center and what you can do is you can duplicate it and after you duplicate it change the color to orange okay and we'll send this behind and you know we just want to create this type of illusion okay so you've seen what we have at the moment looking very simple and very interesting right so after you do this i want you to add a rectangle so press r on your keyboard for a rectangle and this is what we have now, there's a reason why we are even using these colors, okay? So the reason is because the perfume or whatever product you're going to use should match these colors. So let me just show you the perfume I want to use. I, I should have actually mentioned it earlier. So I'll just come here, come to recently used, and I'll just bring this up. You see, this is orange. So assuming we're working with this particular color, okay, we'll just use this particular perfume. We'll just use similar colors in here. And all the colors you'll be working with should come from the products, okay? So in this case, if you want to use the same perfume I am using, you know, you can just search for stylish perfume bottle and you should find it, all right? All right. So we'll just increase this, okay? And we'll make it, first of all, we'll make it orange, all right? And the color code is C. 73d03 so we would also increase the you know increase the width and this is what we have at the moment okay now i want everything to communicate we want everything to make sense so we are going to apply some gradient to the shape and we just want it to reflect the light coming out from this window that's the whole idea okay so we'll come to color and we'll switch to gradient okay and we'll just choose the linear gradient all right now i'll just switch this to something like this then what we are just going to do is first of all first of all before we even touch this gradient if we are going to be working with this kind of orange then the background should also reflect the same okay so let's change the background the background's orange so i'll just do this and that's what we have okay now let's come back to our shape and i just hope i'm not confusing you 
they will come to color okay then you know so we are now coming to work on the ship's colors so the first color i would want to use this color so i'll use the color picker to pick it and see this is what we have okay the second color is you know the orange we have then we would add a third color which would be the same orange okay so what i'm just going to do is that with the second color click on the second color we'll make it a bit lighter okay we'll make it a bit lighter for it to blend as you can see to blend with whatever is coming in here we can add a fourth color okay and we'll just make it darker you get it so this is what we have at the moment very easy and very simple all right so we'll move this to the top a little bit so that everything looks good all right all right so now that we have this the next thing we're just going to do is add some shadows so for the shadows just come into element and search for shadow okay and there are so many shadows you will find so just go into graphics and just take your time at this point take your time to find a good shadow so i think i can work with this particular one so i'll just bring this here and i'll just also move this here okay and just move this here then we'll just take it up a little bit right click come to layer and come to send to back and this is what we have at the moment so i will now increase it a little bit and this is what we have all right now that we have this what we are going to do is that we'll create a new page okay and with this new page we'll click on this shape duplicate it or just copy not duplicate so right click copy come to the new page and paste it in here okay just keep it to the center all right then just delete the colors we have behind and you can increase the size if you want okay and i'll just keep it here all right so duplicate it again because if it's just one element you can't so we'll just keep it two and we'll just come here come to download then we'll select the page the current page and we'll also take transparent background okay because we want it without the background so would we'll allow it to download and i'll just keep it in my uploads okay sorry in my downloads then we'll just re-upload it back into canva okay so when you re-upload it oh it doesn't even upload yeah when we upload it you can now delete your you know the extra page added and this is what we have at the moment i would increase the size of mine okay because i really want to see what i am doing okay i'll just keep it here then you have to come to edit okay edit so click on it come to edit then make sure of finding blur. So click on blur, come to whole image and increase the size. Okay. Then just close this and you should see it's giving that brightness effect. I really love this. So now bring your perfume all the way to the front. So right click, okay, and come to bring to front. Then we'll just position this here like this. Okay. And We'll just crop it a little bit and we'll bring the shadow here. We'll increase the size. Okay. And we'll just keep it here like that. Okay. Then we'll send it to the back. Okay. So something like this should be fine. And we'll drop this down a little bit. Okay. Now the shadow is just too much. So we'll reduce the brightness of all the shadows and also reduce this one also. Okay. Just to keep it, you know, trained a little bit. So this is what we currently have. And I think it's actually looking very good. So we'll just increase the size more and we'll just place it in here. Now we press T on your keyboard. Okay. And we just want to add some text here. So increase the size of your text and we'll just see sent of decadence or decadence i don't know how to but anyway generated with chat gpt okay so we just change it and i'm using the font espoir serif okay but if you are not finding it you can choose any one of your choice you don't necessarily have to use what i am using and we'll just duplicate it bring this here and i'll just say decade and okay so this is what we have and we'll change the color i'll choose the orange come to color and increase it and just increase the color a little bit okay so to so come to color we'll just reduce it a little bit and we'll just also increase this a little bit and let's play around with the colors a little bit okay so we have we have this and we'll just try to make sure it's visible enough okay so something like this then you can just duplicate this and say luxury perfume okay so luxury perfume then just select everything and change the color to sorry and change the text to 
any text of your choice. So you can use, I'm using Poppins, but you can use any one of your choice, okay? So we'll just keep this here, something like this should be fine. And we'll just also center it. So come here and center. And this is what we currently have. And I think it's actually looking very, very beautiful. I really like how everything is looking, but I'm not so comfortable with this color. Okay, so I think I like it like this instead. Nice one. Okay, so we'll rather keep it like this. I feel more comfortable with this one instead of the other one. And yeah, this is what we have been able to create inside of Canva from scratch. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed it, I would be so happy if you can give this video a like and even subscribe if you want more Canva tutorials. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in the next one. Peace.